So Wildcard have just put out their latest Community Crunch a couple of hours ago, and they're featuring the Fjordhawk, one of the latest new creatures to be added to the Fjordor map. It's going to be released later on in June of this year. Looking to dive right into the action, the Fjordhawk can forge close bonds with humans as wholeheartedly as any canine or primate. A tamed Fjordhawk is a surprisingly playful companion is very capable of fetching targets that you point out, and a well-trained Fjordhawk can locate injured prey and communicate what it finds to you. We can see domesticated, tamed Fjordhawks are surprisingly playful. Their favourite game is to fetch. Indulge your bird with this play and a bit of practice, you'll reap the rewards. Just point out a target and your Fjordhawk will fly off to retrieve it for you. If you should meet some cave misfortune, your Fjordhawk will immediately fly off with as many of your belongings as it can carry. As soon as you respawn at the Ark, your friend will track you down and return your equipment to you. We also have the sponsored mod updates and we're taking a closer look at Titan. And I'm going to let you have a look at the intro for Titan so you can get a feeling of what this map is going to have to offer when it's eventually released. Titan is actually coming up on the Steam Workshop as one of the most popular mods this year. The map developer, Cody Golax, I hope I'm pronouncing that one right, says the map Titan is also the name of the main spaceship. From it, you can travel between different planets, doing missions and trading with NPCs. The map will compose of two different big planets, two small planets, and they have custom lore and cutscenes, each with dialogue to explain more about the story behind why you are there. His idea is to continue making the map until Arc 2 comes out, adding an update every two or three weeks with new content. So Titan is definitely a mod to keep an eye on. And in this community crunch, they've focused on the Kanga mods, a series of mods that are designed to bring you an immersive, primitive Arc experience. The Kanga mods collection creates a player-driven economy an interesting food system and new ways for your farming and breeding activities, an in-depth system for deaths and wounds and illnesses and role-playing elements with lots of new items and structures to craft. Even though it's a series of mods that are still in beta, it's definitely one to keep an eye on. So that's pretty much everything you need to know about the latest community crunch. There is a competition over on their official Discord to create a new Noglin emoji. If you're interested in that, of course, go and join the official Discord for Ark Survival Evolved. And the Community Crunch is also focusing on a couple of creators here. We've got Bimo, who's taking on the Val Guerrero bosses with the Shadow Mains. And Python, who's also starting a new series on the island map, Unmodded. So good luck with that one, mate. <laughs> and I'd know all about that one. But yeah, that's kind of nice that the Community Crunch is focusing on some new creators. I even got featured last time round myself, so that one helps out a lot, especially for new creators. But until next time, I'm James from Complete Games, and I'll see you.